coming up next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, Big. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your Forced to be reckoned with tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high level striker is, and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Straight punch lands. Big leg kick lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice straight right lands. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee.
big punch land. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice body kick. More than one, more than one. Misses with that punch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just out of range with that kick attempt. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Put your hands up higher, come on. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big leg kick lands. Get out of there. Come on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he goes. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Another powerful kick there, a lot of volume with the feet tonight. Bro. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Nice punch, man, on the top. Goes back to that left kick once again. Counters once again, this time with the overhand right. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh man, head kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. And he landed the right hand there. Educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Real nice body kick lands. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight for the hole. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Put your hands, boy. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Punches block. Big punch lands through the middle. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Straight right hand, no good. Beautiful head kick. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Nice leg kick. Starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Checks the leg kick. Big body to land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. some adjustments. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Defense there as he blocks the shot. Just misses with the left hook. Real quick leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. And he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Just lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very badly. He's pissed him. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. seconds. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage 
his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. And that one was heavy. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Back and forth we go. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Luke. That's a big strike right there. What a body kick. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. And all I can think of better him than me. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Breathe. Oh, straight right. He misses there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Able to check that kick as well. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. Or a baller, though, he said. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice straight punch. Flush right hand is true. And both guys really throwing with authority. 
big kick land. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Billy hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on this play here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Just missing on the high kick there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Leg kick. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Nice loop and punch. Real sneaky body kick. Such a fast leg kick. Just missed on the front kick there. Got clip with the right hand. Lee's hook shot. Oh, 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 the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stand his horse. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he's going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Just over three minutes to go. Strong defense there to block the shot. Under three minutes remain in round four. And he caught the kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good. Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Nice head kick. Just misses there with the left. You got to whip his hip into that kick. They continue to exchange. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. And there comes the separation now. Checks that leg. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. What a punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Less than a minute to go in the round. Nice kick. 
All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Sneaky head kick. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big and kick. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Right. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Head kick. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's oh! Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big head kick. Kick to the body, that one blocked. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Keep pushing. Great punch. Nice kick. the right hand. Right under the elbow, the body keep land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Good defense to block the strike coming back. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Big head kick lands. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Look at the turtle in that kick. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. 
Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Ooh, what a punch. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. One minute to go in the fight. Gets up again here, but Hurton lands flush with that right hand. Can't take many of those, you better check. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Crush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's gonna be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also, most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.